Hello, welcome. Try this problem out, and then press play we'll solve it together. They want to know which equation represents a set of points equidistant from the line L. This is our directrix. Okay. Oops. Okay. Directrix and the point R shown below. So this is the focus. How did I know that? Well, a set of points equidistant from a line and a point right here forms a parabola. And the first point I'm going to get is halfway between these two right here. I'm just counting up two, and that's the vertex. It's the point two, negative one. So it's going to be some parabola, right? And the idea is that every point on this parabola is an equidistant, is equidistant from the focus and the directrix. Isn't that cool? Uh, but the idea then, if we know that, the general form of an equation, a vertical parabola, would be x minus h squared equals 4p minus y times y minus k squared, y minus k. h and k are the vertex, so in this case it's just, um, sorry, x minus 2. Oops, that deleted that, that's not helpful. 4p times y minus k. And we have x minus 2, h is the x value of our vertex squared, equals p is the distance from the vertex to the focus, so in this case 2. So p is 2, 4 times 2 is 8, times y plus 1, because we're subtracting a negative 1, that's just plus 1. Notice here, though, they've isolated y. So I'm going to write it down here. To get y by itself, I divide both sides by 8, or multiply by 1 eighth. So 1 eighth of x minus 2 squared equals y plus 1, and then I subtract 1 on both sides, 1 eighth times x minus 2 squared minus 1 equals y. And that's it. It looks like, well, actually, I'm glad I did this because I constantly forget to do this. If the parabola is facing down, if p is negative, this would be a negative product, negative as well. p is a distance of 2, but this is really the absolute value of p, this distance right here. And if p is negative, in this case, you could tell p is negative if the parabola opens downward. You would plug in negative 2. So this distance right here, 2, is the absolute value of p. And that gets us, uh, sorry, uh, right here we can see it's got to be one of these two choices, not plus 2. And then minus 1, which matches what we have right here, is choice 4. All right, I hope that helped.